were you guys uh keeping up to date on what happened with um Disney with uh their Snow White? Yeah, I, I saw a little bit. Um uh pretty much just that they you know did decide to you know put a hold on it and, and that it is being blamed on you know the um the strikes or whatever. Uh, but I didn't get a chance to like really research deeply because I, I wanted to figure out like the full story of you know how this happened, what led up to this, you know, and, and exactly why, or, or at least what they're saying, what they're putting out there. Because I think that part of the reason is because of all the backlash that that's been going on about how you know they're basically ruining the movie, ruining the classic, and all the crap that the actor said. Man, cannot stand that shit. Oh my god. So I, I think part of it is sort of like damage control and they're hoping that either, you know, things will kind of die down or maybe they maybe they're actually going to like reshoot some of it and like, you know, change some of the stuff uh, to make it actually better. We'll see. But I'm, I'm very curious as to like, you know, the real story to, as to like, you know, what they're putting out there for why they're doing this postponement, because that, that that's a big deal. Yeah. What about you, Greg? Yeah, there, there's so many reasons that you can think of. It's like the screenshot I saw on Twitter. So. Those people that they hired as dwarves, they're terminated. Are they fired? Because I don't they, know. They, they they made them CGI, right? Not not yeah. the actual dwarves. They're actual yeah, they actually look like dwarves. They, they don't they don't even look like little people, right? Like the actual yeah. like people, like actors. They actually look like CGI dwarves, right? Yeah. And it's, it's cost wise, it would have been probably more efficient and cost saving for them to hire actors. That yeah. Are, wait that, wait that, a that. minute. Is that so? Cause I saw that picture. I thought that was concept art or something, man. Is is that what they're going with now? I don't know. I yeah, it, it that image came out at the same time with the, at the announcement. So I'm assuming that's the new. Those are the new dwarves, man. Because if that's the truth, then I, I feel like that's um, you know, for them to like, you know, take away the roles from the folks that they gave them to. Yeah, exactly. Like a bunch of woke people. Then then that's some backlash right there. Like like I, I don't think they. I, I wouldn't think that they had the guts. To like turn back on that, um, wow, hard to imagine. Yeah, and that brings us to this uh, article right over here from Bowling and Comics. The Disney Company releases first look at Rachel Zegler's Snow White delays films released an entire year. So um, I believe it's now. So from over here, from the Hollywood Reporter notes that Disney pushed back Snow White from its original release date of March twenty second, twenty twenty four, to March twenty first, twenty twenty five. Wow. So that's huge. It's right. You're, you're not even just moving it back to like the end of next year. You're moving it the in, an entire year, right? I'm pretty sure they're going to get some kind of reshoots or something like that. Um, but let's go ahead and scroll down because let's go ahead. Uh, because this, this is the image we're talking about right here. Right. This that's one right weird. here. Boom. Right. Strange. So first look at Rachel Zegler as Snow White as Disney pushes back film to March 21st. And if this is concept art, yeah, what happened? Like, like Greg, like, like what you said. What happened to all those actual, like, diverse, like people who works at uh, Trader Joe's? You know, what, <laughs> what, like, what, what, what happened to them? Right. So it's it, it is weird, right? Like they actually sort of look okay. Okay, if you showed me this image, like from the get go, and Rachel Zegler did not open her mouth saying that how you know, um, you know, men bad, you know, patriarchy bad, and stuff like that. Better. It'd be much better. Like they showed it this, this this is this is concept art. I'm like everyone would be like, oh shit, that looks pretty good. Yeah. But now that you have the you know the, the you know the screenshot from you know earlier this year, and then her saying how the prince just stalks her and it's weird and stuff like that, like it's I I'm wondering if they're just doing this for damage control. It's like, and the thing is that what is also coming out next year? What is mm -hmm. Daily Wire, Snow White, and the Evil Queen? That's right. That's right. Right, so imagine if those two movies came out—a Snow White movie. Yeah. Which one are you going to watch? Right. No. So. Beautiful. Yeah, and, and we're gonna have a heyday for that. <laughs> for it's like it, just a side by side comparison and commentating about it. That, that's YouTube gold, actually. So they know that that was gonna happen. Yo, isn't it? Wait, wait a minute. So, so that's coming out next year. So I feel like that's almost kind of dangerous because if a lot of people go and watch, you know, this Snow White movie, and let's say it even does well. Um, you know, which I'm hoping for, then um, I feel like that's dangerous for Disney because now there's going to be a comparison, right? And then two, exactly. uh, some people might, might not even want to see the Disney one because they've already kind of had their fill, you know, a little bit, so to speak. So, wow, that that's some pressure for Disney a little bit, I think, right? Yeah, so, I, so, so in terms of them, I'm like, okay, 
like let, like let's say if I was Disney, I'm like, okay, we're getting a lot of like backlash. You know, people, right. you know, e even the original like, like, you know, the the person who worked on the original film's like son or grandson or whatever, he he came out and, and said, you guys are ruining it, right? And mm -hmm. and you guys are coming out with this. You guys sh are showing this during the um, the anniversary, the 100 year of Disney. Wow. So so the thing is, if they are going to completely just let's say not reboot the story, but at least change it up uh, as at least, you know, it looks correct, mm -hmm. right? Like, you, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not going to lighten her skin any in, in any way, you know, and they, they're going to keep her, you know, the way she is. But I think a lot of people would, I think a lot of kids and a lot of, uh, like, the Disney adults, right, the people who are, like, anything Disney they would love, they're not going to say anything about it. And then when they watch it, they might say something, but, like, they already, by that time, Disney already has your money. Right. Right. So, uh, but, yeah, I, I think they are going to be doing a good amount of reshoots. But uh, let's go ahead and read this article. Let's see uh, how. I, so the Walt Disney Company also released a first look at Rachel Zegler's alongside what appears to be seven dwarves. Given the appearance of the dwarves, it's possible the film will undergo significant reshoots once the strike is ended. So this is the original uh, one down here. Oh, my God. Right. And these are according to what I heard. These were stand ins. I'm not sure if they were actually stand ins, but that that's what they said. And this photo them. was leaked. It wasn't supposed to be out there. I don't believe them. Yeah, see, the idea that the movie might undergo significant reshoots and thus might be true reason for the delay is because the Daily Mail previously published images from the set of Snow White showing a number of actors that look nothing like the dwarves in the first look image. Following the images, these actors being published by the Daily Mail as Disney spokesmen told the Daily Beast the images were not from the Snow White production. Those photos are fake and not our, not from our production. We are currently trying to to have Daily Mail issue a correction. Daily Mail would update their story, but made it clear that the photos were not fake and mm -hmm. were indeed from Disney's production. Mm -hmm. An update on the article stated, the article has been amended since the initial publication and correctly identified the actress portraying Snow White as an extra who stood in for post-production photography. Disney confirmed that the stand-ins were used for both Rachel Ziegler and Andrew Burnap for these, uh, in these images. We are happy to clarify at this point. So only two people were actually uh placeholders so everyone else were actually like the the, the actual characters okay. now um like i said um previously before peter dinklage ruined everything for them right yeah <laughs> right it's his fault <laughs> right it's your fault that you're not getting legitimate people who actually in, instead of hiring people who actually have facetime you actually get like on-screen facetime like you're gonna have 3d assets now and the thing is, that they already did, wasn't Disney already complaining about VFX being like super, super fucking expensive. Now it's going to be even more expensive, right? With all these reshoots and stuff like that. This movie is probably going to be go, it's, it's probably going to be like four hundred fifty million dollars to make, maybe even more. We're not sure how much CGI they're, they're doing now. If they are going to go towards and make this version of it, I think stylistically and artistically, I think it looks fine. I think it look, I, I think it looks pretty cool. The go back, go back down a little bit. Uh, to the to to the girl, to Rachel, her, she's super pretty, man. It's it's a shame that she had to say all that crap ab about the movie and about like all that stuff. She's real pretty, and and like I hope that we can see her in other stuff, but I don't want to see her in Snow White. Sorry. Anyways, yeah. So the thing is that she she's also I believe she's also starring in the prequel to the Hunger Games. As Hunger well. Games, and it's not looking well for that one. Is interesting. Right? Like according to what I heard, people say, are saying that she can sing, right? So, um, but the thing is, I think, like I said, if she never said anything, exactly, I think people would would have been fine with it, right? Same thing mm -hmm. with Brie Larson. If she never said anything, people would have been fine with it. Yep, yeah, <laughs> that's so true, man. Wow. Oh my yeah. god. See, and now, now here, here's the thing. Now this is going back to what we said uh, last week, Brian. Um. Did you hear anything that came out of a uh, Little Mermaid? Not a lot, right? Only a little bit. Um, from the from the the main actress, right? Yes. Um, I, I heard a little bit, but but not not too much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, not not a lot. So that movie, like, didn't of course it didn't make back as money or anything like that, but it still, like, it didn't like no one really said anything about how like. You know, um, Haley uh, Halle Bailey was a terrible person. Halle Bailey right. is this Halle Bailey. No one said anything. But the thing is that. Rachel Zegler did. Yeah. Right. Saying that, oh, it, it, you know, same thing with uh, Danielle Pineda, whatever her, the, the girl who played uh, Faye Valentine. 
she came out and bashed everyone. It's like, oh, if you don't like it, don't watch it. You know that, like it's, it's that. Like I think, I think that's the that's the reason why a lot of people are just like, you know, I'm I'm done, I'm I'm done, and uh and but I do I do want to say I, I do want to show something though, and this might be me being a a, a, a man. Here we go. But uh, they they completely nerfed uh, Halle Bailey. Do you know? Um, I'm 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 gonna show some I'm gonna show some uh images I'm, chat. I'm nervous. Gray, what's he about to show, man? Do, do I want to keep watching? <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. It's good. Um, Jesus, <laughs> Jesus is okay with it. Jesus oh my okay god! With it. All right, we'll, we'll see. All right. <laughs> okay, so um, hold on. Let me go back. Wait, wait. I think this is. I think this is a good photo right here. Wow. That's crazy. Right? That she looked good, right? She looked good yeah. here. <laughs> she looked good here. She, she's a very pretty girl. Very pretty. And Disney nerfed the shit out of her. Oh, wow. Hardcore nerf. Oh, man. That's that, that's not cool. Yeah, man. that's that, 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 unfortunate. Wow. This is, this is what was this is what's gonna cause World War Three. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, you, you you're crossing the line with that, man. Like you you don't you don't mess with that. That's that's ridiculous. Yeah, it's like she she's it's like why, why are you doing that, man? <laughs> it's like are are you are you saying that? Oh, hey, maybe she's it's like hey, maybe sixteen year old girls don't look like that. I'm like hey, I've sixteen year old girls in high school look like that. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I've 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 seen I've seen some stuff, but like the thing <laughs> is that like she 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 look good, right? Yeah. And 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 oh man. That's this is the, this is the real crime right here. That that that's quite the shame. L listen, yeah. let me let me speak to so so the fact that Rachel, right? You know, we're saying that she said all these things, and that's what caused a lot of the backlash. You know, and and that's absolutely true. And so if you think about it, you know, what would have been the best case scenario, right? People who want to see people who like Disney and people who want to see Snow White is like, hey, I like the original. I, I appreciate the story and the characters, all these things, right? It's part of my childhood and like, it's great. I want to show my kids and, you know, kind of enjoy that experience. And then now it's like, you know, you're, you're you know, we have these images where you're changing up the characters and, and it's so obvious that it's for pandering purposes. Right, Y'all already know how much that pisses me off already. Uh, and then you have the actress, you know, for Snow White, who who doesn't, you know, look the part all that great, in my opinion. Um, you, you know, you know, so so that's one part. And then also she's saying all these things to bash the movie, to bash the story, to to bash, you know, like like this this great uh, creative work that so many people are appreciating. That's why they're coming to see the movie. Like, how is that a good idea? How is that smart at all? Y'all are dumb. Y'all are pandering and being stupid. And y'all are dumb, dumb square, right? Whatever you want to call it. So, so it's like, it's like, why not just like, you know, like even if you have those thoughts, just shut up, just don't yeah, share. Yeah, exactly. But, you, know, like, like, you know, you know, you have those thoughts, so so you so you're a crappy person, but at, at least don't don't expose yourself. There, there, there's, a, yes. there's a Bible scripture that talks about that about don't don't let them you know find out for sure that you're stupid. You know, like you might as well just be quiet, right? So so that's part of it. And then um, what was I gonna say, man? Um. You know, if, if you want to, you know, so so don't say anything. And then at, at least, you know, you know, it can, you know, like maybe the movie has a chance to do well or whatever. But that, that was a big part of it, man. Like I was like, I was like, what are you doing? Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.